In this video for Resolve 16, I'll be going over what you can do if you go to your Spline Editor in the Fusion tab and you see these little lock icons on the points of your spline. If you try to move them, you can only move them basically in one direction. So here it's only the X direction. And if you try to move them up and down, you can't. All you could do is maybe change the uh, curve here, but you can only move them in one direction. So in this video, I'll show you both how to remedy that situation and also kind of explain uh, why that's happening. And uh, sometimes it's a good thing, but if you want to be able to move it in more than one direction, in this video, I will show you how to accomplish that. Okay, so in Resolve 16, start out by adding some footage onto my timeline here in the Edit tab. Then you go to Fusion. And within Fusion, you do your uh, keyframing, your animation. So here I took a text node you can see in the left viewer here, and I hit the one button to see that text in the left viewer. And right now my media out is in the right viewer. You can also see media pool, see what I have here. Then I added a transform node after the text so that I can uh, move it from the upper left to the lower right. So see here I moved it. Keyframed the center XY on the transform node move the text up to the upper left corner and then I move forward to about the three second mark to around 90 frames and I brought it down to the bottom right corner so that created a path and if you back up and play it through you can see it goes from the upper left to the upper right but now if I wanted to adjust some of the spline come up here to the upper right click on the spline kind of center that up and you can see here those are two lock icons and if I try to move those Anything other than left or right, I can't. All I can do is I change the curve here. Now the reason that is happening is that this is set up as a displacement. And it's basically just going from, these values are just going from 0 to 1, which just basically means 0 is the start and 1 is the end, and it will follow that path. And you can't adjust that from the spline editor, other than, again, the timing, which you can do by the curves. So if you want to change that so you can have more... Uh, control of it from the spline editor. You make sure that your node is selected. You right click the center here, your transform. You want to come down to path one polyline. And what you're looking to do is click here where it says convert to XY path. Click on that. It'll pop up this little dialog box with offset. Just leave that at zero for both of them. Click OK. And now that converts it to XY. And you see on the left here, instead of just displacement, you have X, Y. And also, if you come over modifiers, before there was just a, a displacement going from 0 to 1. And now you have your X, Y values up here. I can center this up again. So you see all your different points. Now, if I want to move these, say this, which is the Y, which is your up and down. I can take this point, and now I can move it in any direction I want. So that then you can see in the viewer, there moves it around. So I can adjust it, I can change the curve, so it'll be slower, quicker to come in. I can do that, but with the X as well, I can change that. Now if I change it uh, left to right, I'm changing the timing of it. So it'll be either the frame, the keyframe will be earlier or later, and up or down will change the value of that X value, which moves it left to right on the screen. But you can come in here and tweak it, and get it the way you want, and again, adjust the curves. Just add another point. I can grab the spline control here, change the curve of it. If I now play it, I'll both change the timing and the points where it curves, where it changes, and where it starts and stops. So that's basically how you handle it. If again, if it goes, you see those lock, locked points in your spline editor. It just basically means it's set up as a displacement. And again, you just come up to the center, right click on it, and choose X to Y. And if you want to go back, you could change it to convert to polypath and click OK. And that changes it back to the displacement. If I come back to modifiers up here in the inspector, see that it's back to your displacement. And you could go back and forth uh, depending upon which way you want it. Displacement's nice because it's just uh, easy 0 to 1. If you just want to adjust the timing of it, you don't care about the, the position is fine. 
the start and end points are fine. You just want to change the timing. You keep it as a displacement. But if you want to have a little more control from the spline editor, and change it to the XY path. So that's all there is to it. So hopefully you found this useful. And I thank you for watching.